folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Light 3015BH. This is a beautiful bunkhouse model. You got the big super slide here with the sofa and the dinette, helping to open up this living space, and you get a second entry into the bathroom. Let's start off here in the kitchen, though. You'll see that you have great countertop space. They give you a lot of prep space by giving you both the sink top cover as well as the cooktop cover. The sink top cover here is cutting board quality. However, I do recommend just using the bottom side. That way all your knife marks are here. So when you flip it back over, the top still stays looking nice and pretty. When I do take that off, that will reveal the double bowl sink there. And you'll also see the high rise pullout faucet. I like having a pull out faucet. It makes it a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes. And plus myself, I, kind of, I have a Keurig that I take with me camping. I'll kind of set it off to the side. That way you can take the, uh, the pull out and just fill up the water basin without having to take it out. Just makes life a little bit easier. Right over to this side here is your three burner cooktop that is recessed with the glass cover. You'll see this folds up and back just like so, giving you that backsplash. Again, opening up those three burners. You will see that all the knobs here are lit. You can turn it off if you so choose. And then right underneath is the oven in case you want to do some baking. We take a look at the storage underneath the sink. Not a whole lot right here. Uh, you know, you might be able to sneak something in there. Not sure what, but uh, at least they you know, did put a door there. It's a cleaner look than just having a panel. And then you have two full extension drawers right over here to this side. They are quite deep as well. So that way if you have some larger items like uh, like an immersion blender or like a apple core or something like that you want to throw in there it will fit and then right up here in the front you can see you have plenty of storage there including right down below so if you do want to you know throw some shoes and stuff down there uh, you can do that right up top here is your electrical outlet so if you need to plug anything in in the kitchen that'll be the place to do it led light there as well main control panel right over here to the side including your tank monitoring panel do note that your water heater does run off both gas and electric and you can turn on both those at the same time for faster recovery across the top here you have the bead board so it just kind of helps break up the wood look and a little bit different wood look there which is nice open that up you'll see a kind of a big uh, pantry storage area there's no style in the center so if you have like a big organizer or something you want to set in there you can do that microwave over here to the side fully functional hood with the light and fan right below it and then you have your uh, refrigerator freezer combo here cut out there for some taller items this unit runs off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover making our way to the back right here is the bathroom so i'll open this up for you so you can take a look uh, right up top you have the mirrored medicine cabinet so some good storage right down underneath you can see a big sink i like when the sink's a little bit bigger it makes it easier to wash your hands there and then also you have some storage underneath Right here next to me is the foot flush lever toilet. You'll see they put it on an angle, which I think is smart because a lot of times manufacturers have it right here and you feel like you're kind of crammed up against the wall. They did put it on an angle so you you know have a lot more leg room. I can see I have plenty of shoulder room here as well. Secondary entrance. Now I know this freaks some people out. I've talked to a lot of customers and they're like, you know, I just don't want a door to the bathroom. But folks, I mean, it's right here. You can lock it and nobody's coming in. It's not a problem. You know, you, you have the, uh, the glass here where no one can see through, so you don't have to worry about that either. The great thing about this though, especially with kids, is if you need to use the bathroom, they can come right in here, do their business, head right back out, and they're not bringing in dirt throughout your entire camper. So I personally really like having uh, the secondary entrance there. If we take a look over to this side, you'll see the tub shower. I'll take a step in here. Uh, the tub, of course, is great for the little ones. If you need to give them a bath, you can do that. It'll be able to accommodate them. I'm six foot. I have a skylight here. If you're right under the center, you know, you're six one, six two. you may be able to stay in the center. Any taller than that, you'll certainly have to hunker down. You will see the hand wand right there off to the side, and then a shelf here behind me, too. Taking another step in, uh, actually right out of the bathroom, I do want to show you this. So I'll open this up for you. You can see here, excellent storage running the whole length there. And this, of course, can be used for a couple different things. If you need pantry, it can be pantry. You can use it for kids' clothes storage. Or if you want to use part of it for like a linen closet, you can do that as well. So that way you can just grab your towels right there before heading into the bathroom. When we walk back in the bunk room, you will see right back here you have the quad bunks. Plenty of space thanks to the slide out right here. Really helps open this space up. 300 pound weight capacity on here, folks. If you want an adult to sleep up there, you can do that. 
This folds up and out of the way, locks into place just like so. And then right underneath, you will see your cube sofa. Cool thing about this, this folds out into a large bed. So if you want the extra sleeping space, just like that, let me lift this up a second. So just like that, you can fold it out. You'll have two of those. So it actually creates a pretty big bed. Again, you know, you can sleep two kids there if you want, or uh, again, if you want to sleep some adults there, you can certainly do that as well. But that's a, a pretty versatile bed system there. Right here in the back, you will see that you have hanging wardrobe storage. So if you want to hang some clothes up there, you can do that. A couple of drawers right underneath, decent sized drawers there. And again, you have two bunks over here. Both of these bunks have USB ports on them as well. So if you need to plug in some electronics, give you a, gives you a spot to do that. You have a little net here too, so you can plug in your phone. Just put your net like right, or your uh, phone like right in the net right there. Just kind of handy. 300 pound weight capacity on those as well. Uh, for TV, if you want TV back here, you can see that this is uh, where they put the mounting bracket or the backer rather, so you know where to put it. Right up top here are your connections for that TV. Another thing I do want to note is if you want a second AC, this one is pre-wired for it. You can see that, uh, that everything is pre-wired so it will fit right in there. So we take a look at the bedroom here, you will see that you have a queen bed in the center. But folks, the thing I love about this is the fact this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So if you're a taller person, you don't want your feet hanging off, you will certainly be accommodated right here in the Coleman light, thanks to the full 80 inch bed length. When I lift that up, you will also see you have big storage there underneath. So again, if you don't want to, uh, you know, if you don't have no other place to store your big items, you know, with the exception, of course, the jackknife sofa, you have that big area right there as well. On both sides of the bed, you have a little bit different storage. The one side, you'll see that you have your hanging wardrobe right there with a drawer underneath, electrical outlet there too. And then right here on this other side, you will see that you have a shelf built in here. And then underneath you have your nightstand with a pullout drawer there, again, an electrical outlet. Storage going across the top, LED reading light. Then on the far wall, you will also see that there is a spot to hook up a TV. So if you want TV in the bedroom, that is where it will go. And then you also have actual slider doors here in the bedroom. So that way you have some added privacy at night. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light 3015BH. Right up front is a power tongue jack, this makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So you simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see you have a light right up front for added visibility at night, and you have a manual override in the rare event that the motor does fail on you. Right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. And a little bit further back beyond that are rails for your battery. You will see coming up the front here, you have the diamond etched plating helping to protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And the front three quarter cap has LED lights inlaid on both sides. Coming around to the side, you will see solar prep right here. So if you are going boondocking and you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there and it'll trickle charge your battery. The pass-through has a covered hinge on here, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also slam latch and magnetic, so you can put it up just like that and forget about it. You don't have to worry about the kids coming through and breaking any plastic tabs or anything off. When we take a look inside here, you will see it is nice and large. You have a grill over on the one side there that comes with it. You'll see that the door on the other side is just as big on this as it is on this side, which they are very wide openings. So that way if you have larger items, for example, a grill, or if you have a big executive chair, you can generally fit those items right here in the pass-through. You'll see this one also has power stabilizer jacks. The front control right here will control the front two. There's one in the back for the rear two. And again, you simply touch the button here and you can see that those jacks will start to go down. Just bear in mind, folks, this is not an auto level system. You still wanna level the camper out. These are just stabilizers, which will help prevent your uh, camper from rocking as you're moving around inside. This one does have a fully enclosed, insulated and heated underbelly. So that way it'll help keep some of those uh, critters out, hopefully, as well as keep a lot of the road grime out. And it'll also help keep things a little bit warmer in there during the cold season. So as long as you run in your furnace, it'll blow some heat in there just to make sure again, how it'll help prevent rather your lines and stuff, your tanks from freezing up on you. Right here, you have these, one of the solid step systems. This is the more ride step above. Excellent, excellent step system, folks. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll kind of show you. So I'm over 200 pounds. You can see 
I can jump up and down on these steps and folks, they, they don't move. It's not like your old steps where you have, uh, you know, the steps that are rocking on you. I feel like it's gonna fall through as you're walking up and down. Not the case at all here. You'll also see you have aluminum treads, so that way those aren't gonna rust. The grip tape, so if it's wet, you get a little bit of extra traction. Plus you have this foldable grab handle right here as well, which also gives you that extra control when entering or exiting the RV. Right up top is the power awning. You just simply, simply flip the rocker switch to have it roll out, flip it the other way to have it roll back in. There's an LED light strip on there for light at night. And you have two outside speakers, which are controlled by that multimedia center inside. However, it's Bluetooth capable. So you wanna sit out here underneath your awning and use your smartphone to play some music. You can certainly do that. Right here is your fresh water fill. So if you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you'll definitely wanna put some water in your fresh tank. That'll be the place to do it. Outside hookups right here for your TV, you see your cable outlet as well as an electrical outlet. Of course, bear in mind, folks, even if you don't want an outside TV, you can plug anything in there. You want to plug in an electric skittle or uh, <laughs> electric griddle or skillet, combined them. Either way, you can uh, certainly do that right there. Making a, a step back a little bit further here, you see the aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do these look gorgeous now, but they will continue to do so for years to come because aluminum doesn't rust on you. Also, this one does have a black tank flush. So, you know, normally you just pull the lever on your black tank and everything drains out or so you think. Unfortunately, most times some things get left behind in that black tank. All I have to do is hook up a hose right here. The black tank has sprayers built in. It'll help wash all the rest of that stuff out of there for you. So that way your black tank smells nice and fresh. Right here you have three foldable steps. This is your secondary entrance. This is the one into the bathroom. Smaller grab handle right here. Again, you probably won't be using this entrance quite as much, but as I mentioned, we were in the bathroom. It's perfect, you know, for yourself, guests, kids, whatever, so they can just run in, do their business, and head right back out. Taking a step back a little bit further, this is one of my favorite parts about a bunk model, the outside kitchen, or more importantly, the outside fridge. This gives you a spot for your beverages or any condiments. You want to throw some ketchup and relish out here for hot dogs. It's a great spot for it. Right up top here, you have a little bit of storage. You want to put some paper plates, solo cups, whatever else up there. Right down underneath, you'll see you have prep space here as well as a wash basin. So it does have both hot and cold water access. It's not plumbed, it's just simply a, a bowl. So as soon as it fills up, you just take it, dump it, put it right back in. It is quite simple to use. Now when we wrap around the back side here. This is the grill mount. As I mentioned, there is a grill in that pass through so you can put the grill right on there. Flip it right around. There is a propane quick connect right down here. So that way you can just plug it right in there and uh, it'll feed off your two 20 pound bottles rather than having to bring the small green ones. Obviously you can see the control right there for your rear two power stabilizer jacks. Now this is mounted on the bumper of course with the end caps. That way you can pop the end caps off, store your sewer hose in there. Myself, I'd probably store it on this side just because, I don't know, it weirds me out that it's close to the grill, but it is still a convenient storage spot for it, and that way it's not rolling around up front with everything else. You'll see your spare tire mounted right here. Uh, the great thing about this is this is probably one of the easiest places to get to it, folks. I mean, hopefully, you know, no one ever wants to have a blowout, but if you do, it's a lot better being able to come right here, undo it, or unscrewing two nuts, be able to take this off rather than having to get down underneath your camper, especially if it's wet, raining, muddy, things like that. Right up top, you'll see this one has backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it a lot easier to have that installed, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Here on the off-door side, you'll see your city water inlet as well as the cable inlet. Right next door to that is the 50 amp detachable power cord inlet. Again, this one was prepped for a second AC, so you have the 50 amp. And then right underneath that is the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Last thing you'll see right down there is your termination with both your black and gray tank valves. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Light 3015BH. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.